in the building, we taking it over. Feeling like I can't miss. We are at the home of the Super Bowl 52 champions, Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Houston Texans and the Philadelphia Eagles. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. And no run back here, so they'll... It's Pierce to begin the drive. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Well, I've heard you say that so much of being a great inside linebacker is diagnosis. And that time he diagnosed things instantly, made a beeline for the football. From the 27, Mills caught left side by Mechie. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. That's good for a Texan first down, a 12-yard pickup. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. He gets this one to Mechie. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 43. Texans passing game in rhythm right now, picking up another first. First and 10, it's Pierce. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field in the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Play action now, Mills. Over the middle, that's caught by Mechie. Touchdown, Houston! Oh, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you, somewhere along the way, the head coach said, let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Hurts throw here taken in as he's able to find Goddard. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 
That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Let's go now. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Back to throw here. And this is caught. It's Brown. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain there of 30 big ones. Pretty good timing. He waited just enough for that post play to develop and laid it right in there. And you know what a lot of teams do when they decide to throw a post route? Because it's a little bit longer developing play. They max protect, bring everyone in, keep the tight end in, an extra back, to make sure the quarterback has time to deliver the football. And he'll be out of bounds. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. And sometimes when you run a screen pass down in the red zone, it's really tough to create a lot of room to operate. The field's pretty condensed, but that was really well designed there, and they're able to pick up the first down. After 60, after 60. They'll run with Sanders. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Eagles are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. But finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. These two teams all tied after one. had it each team has scored 7-7 here as the kicks away taken in at the three and not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23 the Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. From the 27, Mills. This will be complete to Mechie. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. Uh, give left side for Pierce. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Mills. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Hassan Reddick from his outside linebacker spot forcing the sack for a loss of eight. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. And that's a good bounce back up to give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. On is the punter, Johnston now, as he sends this one away. Fielded at the 20. A very good return that time. 18 yards, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. 
A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Second down. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Devontae Smith. 57 yards, and the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From his end zone, here's Trayvon Smith. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. That 7-0 lead of theirs is short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Howard. Finding room at midfield. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Texans! O.J. Howard, 75 yards. And the Texans are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Fairbairn now to add the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to seeing all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone... And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown. 75 yards. And the Eagles are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Elliott good on the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Out of the end zone comes Smith. Well, now how about this return? And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Mills throw complete here, pulled in by Howard. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. 
Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Hand off left side, Pierce. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. There's so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy who can block, a guy who can catch, and a guy who can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles, as we just saw on that pickup. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Mills throw completed to Mechie. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Back to the ground with Pierce. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Looking to throw his Mills. And it's caught. Touchdown. Jordan Akins as the first half is winding down. And the Texans have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Fairbairn good with the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. offense sent to begin their next drive this offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter well quarters number one and two entertaining we saw some good offense points put up Charles and all tied on the scoreboard and it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half and now here in the second half Getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Another run with Sanders. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Second down and eight. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. The result, only four yards there on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. They get this out quickly to the left side. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. 
They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. So on fourth down, they decided to go with a run-pass option, a good decision. And the run can get you there, but the pass gets you there quicker. Nice decision, picks up a first down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. On second and 12, Hurts. That's swung out wide to Sanders. And some room to run now. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. The offense has to love that because that was just a dump down, and then he turned something out of seemingly nothing. And the best quarterbacks understand that dumping it down is often a good play, a better play than even what was drawn up. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Elliott good with a PAT, and they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now, they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play. As and it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. To throw, Mills. Open man is Mechie, and he's got him. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, Mills. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Avante Maddox. And the Eagles will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, fatal last words. Every time we hear that, things tend to fall apart a little bit. And that's what... It's caught at the 10. Touchdown, Eagles. Devontae Smith. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Eagles use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25.
The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive. In particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal is not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. And Pierce gets it again on second down. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Mills now from the 50. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chest exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Mills. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Over the dime looked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. And they'll throw again. Here's Mills. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 35. First down throw for Mills. He's got Akins, the tight end. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Throwing, Mills. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by James Bradbury. And the Eagles are going to take possession here at their own three-yard line. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense, but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. They start on the ground here at Sanders, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. On third down, they turn to Sanders. And they're going to get the first down here as he's up to the 14. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. That one looks like he'll throw here. He's going deep for Brown. They got his man complete. The 20. Touchdown. A.J. Brown. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Eagles have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. Elliott good with a PAT. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. 
Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. One last shot from Mills. He gets this one to Mechie. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this game, it was well in hand early, never really in doubt. Charles, you and I do so many games together. There was so much parity in the NFL, a lot of close battles. This was not one. Tip your cap to them for a really impressive effort. Yeah, and you know, as the game went on, I think the defense kind of got together and said, we see our guys on offense, they're just putting up point after point. We need to leave on mark somehow, too, and they did it, pitching a second-half shutout.